Mark, you have the February 6th deal at the Europa and you have the two James boys, as I laughingly call them. Yeah. Uh, one cert for a British title scrap and the other one having this uh, fight uh, looking to a British title. Things are going well and looking good for you at this stage. Yes, it's, it really is unbelievable. I think we spoke in November, it was, about our aspirations for two hundred or for 2016. And everything we talked about that day is happening, but it's actually happening straight away, earlier than what we thought. As you know, uh, James Tennyson is now the mandatory challenger for the British title. The fight that he had with Darren Trainer, it never perspired because he, he ended up transpired because he ended up getting a straight shot at the title with the winner having to fight Tennyson. If they don't fight him, then they'll be stripped. So Tennyson will be in a British title fight within the next three months. James Friars, uh, his eliminator, he was was always going to be in some sort of big fight this show. He's now topping the bill in Europa. Uh, and it's turned out he's now been, the British Boxing Board mandated him to fight for an eliminator of, in his own right for the British Super Fillyweight title. So... Uh, we just tried to make the fight here and, and we got it. We won the bids and, and it's happening now. So it's happening for James Fires. I mean, there's a very strong chance that these two lads could be both be British champions come the summer. You rate these two lads very highly? Too. Oh, 100%. 100%. I don't like have a good old team, as I said, tell you. You know, if another kid there are coming through, Paul Highland Jr., he's knocking on the door of the top 10. And I believe all three, you know, actually could become major forces in the boxing world. Not only in Northern Ireland, the UK, possibly the world. Like who knows? It's early days. You just have to keep on pushing every door, haven't you? Every opportunity for a bit more PR for people to become aware of the fact that uh, I know we have Carl Frampton, fantastic lad, yeah. fantastic athlete, mm. brilliant champion. Mm. But we have a lot of other talent just below that radar that just needs to get pushed up. Yes, well, like I'm no Manchester United fan. I will state that, especially <laughs> off, especially after what happened to my to my team on Sunday. But you know, Alex Ferguson. He had his A team, but he also had the B team, and they always used to slip them in all the time until the B team became the A team. Well, if you imagine Carl Frampton as the A team, this is the B team coming through, and Carl's not going to be there forever. You know, someone else has to come through, and if these kids, you know, keep showing the dedication and talent that they're doing, then why can't they be the next the next batch of talent to come out of Northern Ireland? And Mark, a great appetite as well here to for for the event because boxing fans here know their sport and they love their sport and appreciate their sport. Yes, I can guarantee you, you know, that the days are gone. When t t times were tough here. There used to be some rubbish shows and not so much rubbish shows, but like there weren't great fights. People mm -hmm. were only coming out to support, you know, uh, their local, their friends and family type thing. But now, you know, the, the major boxing fans are coming back out again and they're working hard and they want to spend their money watching good fights and that's what I can guarantee that that, that I'm trying to deliver good learning fights, winning fights and, and then 50-50 fights which what James Farr's done at the weekend you know, people will get value for money on these shows and then if, they're, if, they're, if they keep doing well they will be on, on the big stage the TV companies are coming and there's your poster if you want to take a hold of that as well too. Yes, Obviously yes. McLean's heavily involved in that. Yep. And uh, it's in the Europa and it's on Saturday the 6th of February and I yep. do believe you're giving us a few tickets, a few ringside seats yes. for a bit of a quiz as well for yes, some, of our, you're going uh, to do, uh, some of our viewers and punters here on yes. uh, McLean's TV. Yes, as I say, look, look, see this show, let me just get this straight. This show on the 6th of February would not be happening if it wasn't without Paul McLean and McLean's bookmakers. You know, they are fantastic supporters of all local sport as you know yourself you've had many great men sit in this seat you know and talk about their passion and their sports but really without people like Paul McLean and and and, and all the shops that he has and all the sponsorship everything that he's doing to local sport you know these nights wouldn't be possible or in fact half of the sporting events that go on in Northern Ireland would be possible so yeah, yeah you know if I could do it for nothing I would and give give them everything because, as I say, they're putting like my kids on the on the map, not me, you know.